What's up, YouTube? I want to tell you about um, something that you might be storing already, or you might end up with a lot of, that can actually be useful to, uh, to you, and you might not even know it, and it is wood ash. Um, if you have a fireplace or a wood burner, and you burn a lot of wood, I'm going to burn probably about seven cords of wood this winter. And um, a cord of wood, one cord of wood, can give you about 50 pounds of ashes. So it's a lot of wood ash that I'm going to end up with, and there's actually a lot of uses for it. Um, so you might want to save some of it rather than just, you know, find a place to get rid of it. Um, Deskunking your pets. If you live out in the country like I do, uh, there's a lot of skunks around in the summertime, and your dog gets crazy, gets to chasing one of them. Uh, there's a good chance he's going to get sprayed. Just take a, a handful of the wood ash, rub it on his coat, and it's actually, uh, it'll neutralize the smell. Um, you spill a little bit of paint on the cement, say in your gar your garage floor, or, uh, or something like that. Throw some ashes on it, rub it in with your boot, it's going to help quite a bit. It's not going to totally get rid of it, but it does make a big difference. Um, a lot of uses for your garden. You can enrich your compost with it, add a little bit to the mix. You don't want to do too much because it can ruin your mix, but a little bit of it goes a long way. Um, and also it blocks pests. If you have garden beds, like raised beds or something like that, or just a regular garden, uh, if you spread it evenly around the edges, the ash actually uh, it repels slugs and snails. So keep those out of your garden with some stuff that you have already. Um, melting ice, another thing that's great up here. Uh, where we get a lot of ice. Sprinkle some ashes down on the ice, it actually melts it, and uh, it does add traction before it melts it, and it doesn't harm the surface underneath, so it's great for that. Um, also, another thing that I'm going to use the wood ash for is to uh, control pond algae. The mix is one, table, one tablespoon per thousand gallons, and you don't have to be exact with that, obviously. But, um, that adds enough potassium to strengthen the other aquatic plants that compete with the algae, so it slows the algae's growth, which is awesome. Um, another thing for your garden, tomatoes, um, or any calcium-loving plant, a quarter cup of the wood ash right in the hole when you plant will really help out your plants. Um, also, your fireplace doors, where this wood ash is coming from, take a um, just a damp sponge, and dip it in these ashes, wipe it on your glass fireplace doors, and it, it does a great job cleaning them up. Um, another thing you can do is make soap. I haven't tried this, but um, soaking the ashes in the water actually makes lye, and if you want, you can mix that with animal fat and boil it, and then you can make soap, uh, and it just hardens as it cools. And uh, another thing, you guys that have a lot of silver out there, uh, it's a great... Um, method to shine your silver. You just make a paste out of ash and water and it's a great, it's non-toxic and it's a really good metal polisher so you can use that for quite a bit. But I'm not going to keep going on and on with it. If you check out Google, just Google uh, uses for wood ash. There's quite a bit you can do with it. Um, just be sure uh, you store it in a metal container with a lid at least when it's first coming out of your, your wood burner or your fireplace just to be safe. Uh, what I actually do is I take um, big buckets, and I put it in there and put the lid on after it's sat in here for a couple days and uh, completely cooled off. But just something that you, you, you're already going to have. You're going to have to find a way to get rid of it, so it would be nice if you can uh, find a use for it. But that's it. Just wanted to go over that in case anybody didn't know about that stuff. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.